We have... Houston, we have a motherfucking problem. And it's a big worm. But it ain't this one. It's this one. It's been a tough few months across the Houston metro. Between the Daily Derecho, historic river flooding in May, and Hurricane Burl in July. And now residents have one more thing to potentially worry about. Due to excessive precipitation. Enter the hammerhead flatworm. Named for its, you guessed it, head that's shaped like a hammerhead shark but rounded. These light or honey-colored snake-like flatworms can grow up to 15 inches long and secrete chemicals through their skin that can be dangerous to humans and pets. They can also carry parasites. So why are residents in Texas being warned to be on the lookout for these pests? It is also important to know that you cannot unalive the worm by cutting it up. The hammerhead flatworm can regenerate. So if you cut them up into three pieces, it will become three new flatworms. So that's why we want you to make sure that when you remove them, it's in a closed container to make sure that they can't leave and populate. Moral of the story, Houston, we got a big-ass invasive worm problem. And whole time, I think I might have stepped on one of these bitches the other day by mistake. I thought I stepped on a snake. Whole time, you mean to tell me it was an invasive species of worm? The fuck type of shit is this? These slugs can grow up to a foot long and can emit a toxin if you pick them up and can irritate your skin. The toxin could also make your pet sick if they try to eat one of these slugs. Now, the rain we're going to see this week will flush the worms out of their burrows in the ground, putting you, your kids, and your pets at risk. But you can use this rain to your advantage. If you find these things, put some gloves on, maybe use a stick and put it in a bag with salt and or vinegar and you're going to want to go ahead and put it in your freezer overnight what you don't want to do is just put it in the trash can jake don't put that in your fridge do not put that in your fridge and one of your little kids see that all right what it is is hey the most high is just doing this thing where he's doing he's, he's bringing out everything this man money his fool everything so yeah don't don't do that They'll regenerate. So if you chop it into two pieces, you've just made two worms, etc., etc. Oh my goodness! Bro, Who is gonna do that? Is relentless. <laughs> Even if you just chop it up, hey, it'll come back to life. It's four worms. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm oh. not doing that. No. I'm not. What's this? And a bag of salt. Uh, Look, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna call the yard guy. That's what I'm. I don't do. even know. I think I'm gonna put my seven-year-old on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 